The closed closet um, started as a thought in my mind. And uh, back in 2012, when our food pantry began, I watched that organization put together an amazing program that helped our community and still does today and has grown and grown. And um, when I saw all the help that these people were getting, I thought there's got to be more. There's more that we can do. As a result of that the Lord planted a seed in my heart about this close closet ministry. And over the next four or five years, um, messages, comments, just continued to water that seed and it's grown into what our close closet ministry is today through the help of uh, other people that have the same heart for the ministry and um, our church membership being generous and supporting this ministry through their donations and, um, and gifts and um, it's just materialized so perfectly. Our goal for this ministry, um, our objective is to um, help and encourage people as they struggle through times in their life where they need extra help and then as we uh, enjoy helping and encouraging them that we build relationships with them and ultimately we're able to change lives and hearts for the Lord and through Him, we're able to do that. When I was in fourth grade, my mom and dad's house burned down. And, and from fourth grade on until the time I got my own job when I was a junior high school, most of my clothing, if not all of my clothing, came from the thrift store, you know, clothes closet stores, Goodwill stores, and getting involved with the closed closet ministry has enabled me to give back, but not only give back, but be a little more selective on what we put on the shelves. So a lot of people sometimes want to just say, well, we'll, we'll just throw anything in there and it'll be accepted. Well, as a person who was a recipient of some of these things, I wanted to not only give to help others, but make them feel proud when they leave the closed closet ministry, I want them to be able to go to school or to go to work or go shopping and feel good about themselves because the clothes that are, they are wearing are things that help them to blend in. And, and it helps them to be accepted and it gives them power. And I mean that in a good way. There, We had an experience with a little girl who come in there and she was probably, I don't know, about 14, 15 years old. And she found some Miss Me Jeans. Oh my, she won the lottery, she thought. It was so exciting to see her and how she loved those pants. And whoever donated those, thank you so much because you made that girl's probably just give her the best outlook on life. And that's what we're about. That's, that's the clothes closet. Encourage people because really just like Vicki, I grew up having absolutely nothing. And I know how important this is. I didn't get new things like you did. <laughs> I, literally, my grandparents would come to see us and bring us clothes from Houston, my sister and I. And we were so excited. I mean, just really, really excited. And that's what I see on the faces of these kids. And that's what I see on the faces of some of these women that are in abusive situations that get absolutely nothing. You know, and when they find something pretty that they could never in a million years have, you gave it to them. God gave it to them. And that's what we're about, spreading love.